Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is all about the behind the scenes for our visual album, Passion. And of course, you definitely know Lonnie by now, who is our filmmaker, director, yes. editor, and everything extraordinary to do with the film. Mm -hmm. And um, this piece, Danzon, is very, very special to me. I actually um, went to Paquito de Vera, who's a very famous living composer and an amazing, amazing performer. Many of you may know of him. I went to his concert, met him in person at an after party, and I talked to him. I said, listen, I really, really love your music. I would really love to play one of your pieces. Do you have something for cello, cello piano? So he gave me this piece. I fell madly in love with the piece. I thought it was absolutely stunning. It's a good mix of like the Latin, Cuban, you know, rhythms, and I love that because like it makes me want to dance. I'm a salsa dancer, as I mentioned in other videos. Um, so I love that piece, and I think it also has a very classical, beautiful, um, gentle part, which really gives me the feeling of getting married and happy ending, living happily ever after, which is really what this film is about. Yes. Um, Danzo signifies an ending that I created for myself. It doesn't exist just yet, but I do hope that um, very soon, one day, I will live happily ever after with a, a partner that I'll find. So this is kind of what this song is about. Yes. And what does Danzo mean, lady? Danzo means memories. Yeah. And this film was filmed in a very, very romantic and very beautiful place for the character, Sonia. This is filmed in Florence. Tell us about the experience filming there. Oh my god. So Florence was so... Uh, one of my favorite places. It was actually the very, very final place that we filmed. Which is kind of, you know, ironic because it's the very last song. So when we went there... Um, we took a cab, we were all sleeping, <laughs> and we were just kind of like, all right, let's just take a nap, and it was a great time. Um, I don't really have much to say about Florence other than it was like absolutely stunning, mm -hmm. and it was so fun to shoot there because there was so much stuff, so much beauty, and the the main cathedral in the, the city center is just like, oh, stunning. Right, so for this particular piece, we really wanted to kind of use the character Sonia as a point of view to really show the beauty exactly. of Florence because you can, you can see the architecture, the cathedral, everything that we mentioned, and yes. even you can see me eating gelato, which is a thing in oh, Italy. It was obviously. so good. Uh, so it was, you know, really wanted to feature that, but also wanted to feature the character Sonia and how she's going on a trip by herself. You know, after all this, she's worked through being betrayed crying through it, dream sequence, and then, you know, having that spiritual awakening, and now she's good, she's happy on her own, and of course, as we all know, when you're happy with yourself, you love yourself, and then you attract the right person into your life, and so this character, you know, she's going um, to Florence, having a good time, and then at the end, she met up with a friend, she's on a cruise, and then what happens at the very, very end? At the ending of the film, we wanted to show... The, the the climax we wanted to show uh, Wendy the cellist the storyteller um, that she is getting you know a, a, a partner and getting married and so the rock. yeah the big rock <laughs> so uh -oh. Uh -oh. so we wanted to <laughs> are you doing a Beyonce <laughs> he's like he's coming in and he's standing there in his suit and he he's an anonymous guy because it's supposed to represent like just the partner not the person itself that's why he's faceless mm -hmm. so we wanted to just kind of portray that he was the the partner at the end and that there is a happy ending for everybody right especially people who are sad yeah and they're trying to get <laughs> there's hope there's, there's hope. always hope at the end um but we actually initially filmed it in monte carlos the cello portion we were not happy with how it came out my expression was not there to really show the feeling of the piece which is filled with joy and hope and light and it wasn't quite there and so we did decide so we decided to scrap that monte carlos yeah. clip and i came back here not came back i came to chicago where lonnie is and we filmed first at a mansion we were crazy about yeah go that figure came out either which yeah. was shocking because this is like a really beautiful mansion people get married there it's nice but like yeah Lonnie wasn't feeling it I wasn't so we actually came back here 
to my house. house. <laughs> to my, my house. backyard. My backyard. <laughs> And we ended up oh. filming. And we ended up filming back there. Like, out of all these exotic places. Florence, yeah. Monte Carlo's, mansion in Chicago, backyard. Backyard this is, is what, what we chose. Yeah. Working up. And it was, it looked freaking good. It looked, I think it ended up looking yeah. really, really nice. It um, looks very romantic. And we did it also in, like, a few quick takes. The mosquitoes were killing us. Again, it was a heat wave. We were dying. Um, I was trying to not look sweaty. You may, you may even find that my hair was sticking to my skin because it was just that hot yeah. and I was smiling while I was feeling the mosquito biting me in my back and I was like eh. and then I was like oh my god so itchy it was really awful oh my god it was yeah, bad it was and bad it was like I'm still itching oh my god it just <laughs> we're talking about it I'm like oh. but it was it was so bad they were biting your face but I, I was really surprised because Wendy she was just like she was like oh Yes, I'm so cute and pretty. I'm getting married. Oh, <laughs> it was just like, and I'm like swatting bugs on my face. It was terrible. It was bad. Um, but we wanted to tell you one thing about this piece now that you've come all the way to the end and stuck with us. Yes, thank you for staying. Yeah. Hope you um, enjoyed it. And I wanted to share with you this little piece that we've been hanging throughout this um, behind the scenes. Yes. This is the very Spanish looking um red cover that I had at the beginning of Dan Zone. Yes. And then you see me taking this off and I get into white dress. This is the only song, the only song in the entire visual album where I am not wearing a red dress but instead I'm wearing a white dress for the cello portion of it. Tell us why we made that choice. So the reason why we decided on that is because throughout the entire film um, basically you're wearing the red and the red was supposed to signify passion. passion and just kind of like all these emotions coming together into one like fiery cellist <laughs> mm -hmm. so and the whole entire film is is really about like love betrayal and redemption mm -hmm. so that I feel like the color red is very signifying of all those emotions just very very intense mm -hmm. and we wanted to portray the character, the cellist, as peaceful now. As uh, she shed the red right at the end because it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm good now. You know, basically like yeah. that. Like, I've recovered. Yeah, I've recovered. <laughs> and also for me, it was like the redemption. Yeah, of, the redemption. Arc. Of after the spiritual um, awakening of being able to forgive. And then that kind of love after you forgive someone or forgive the situation and like you yes. learn and realize that you're really one with the universe and everyone is one and you still love but you love in a different way you love right. in a way that is more about like universal love yeah thanks for joining us for this journey, I it think was a wild journey. Yeah, really <laughs> wild. I do believe that we'll have many more collaborations together. Another film is already we're already talking about it is in the work. So thank you so much for supporting us. Yay. Yes, thanks for supporting us. We'd love for you to check out all of the rest of their content coming in the future, and just being there. That we really appreciate the views, you know, on the film and share it with your friends we'd love for you to share it with them and put it out there yeah thanks goodbye for now bye for now see ya